Hello, it is Wednesday again, and we are back. I'm Blue Rain, and this is Wrestling 411, Episode 5. Can you believe it? Episode 5 already. Well, anyway, last Monday on Raw, Raw opened with Shawn Michaels and Taker came into the ring. Now, they claimed that Taker has never beat Shawn Michaels. I don't necessarily know if that's true or not. But I don't... Aaron Riff, who most of y'all probably know who he is, said that that wasn't the case. So he, I'm going to go with him because he probably knows more about it than I do. But anyway, this interview segment was really good. It was a lot of tension felt. It was, there was very much, very much, a lot of tension behind it. Excuse me. And, uh... It, it, they're building up toward the match at WrestleMania, which I think will be very good. Okay, my JBL rant. JBL. I don't like JBL. JBL is not good. He's past his time, in my opinion. And they put him in an Intercontinental title match last Monday night against CM Punk. <sighs> CM Punk is one of the greatest talents on Raw right now. He deserves that championship. And what do they do? They bury him. They make him go under to JBL and make JBL champion. That was the stupidest booking move I've ever seen. People love CM Punk. We all love him. We all get behind him. JBL is a jerk. JBL should not be in a ring anymore. He just should not because he's past his time. You know, go back to being an announcer because we don't like JBL. And there may be some out there that do, and if you do, that's fine. Let me know. But I don't know of anybody that likes him. As a matter of fact, do you like him, cameraman? No. Okay, there you go. It's just, it's just beyond me. Even though what could happen is CM Punk could get a rematch for the IC title at WrestleMania. If he does, that would be okay. Just put CM Punk over. Please, for the... For for the good of the show, because he's one of those people that everybody loves to see. And JBL, I, I just I can't stand JBL. Anyway, uh, last Monday we had the big show and John Cena and Edge for the contract signing with Vicky Guerrero in the center. When John Cena came out and said he loved Vicky Guerrero, I was like, oh my God, they have done the unthinkable, they have turned Cena Hill, and I was kind of scratching my head, and I was like, why are they doing this, because John Cena is just, he's over as a baby face, yeah, if he turns Hill, it would probably be good, because we wasn't expecting it, so, anyway, that wasn't the case, and then it had, it showed a video from a week ago of Big Show, and Cena, or not Big Big Show and Vicky Guerrero, and kissing in the locker room. That was that was hilarious. I got a big kick out of that segment. I've had some friends ask me what I think about it. I think it's very good, but please do not put Cena over at WrestleMania. Let and don't put Big Show either. Don't put him over either because I think that Big Show has it has outlived his usefulness because there's nothing really about him that's marketable other than he's huge. Who could believably beat him in WWE? Maybe Kane or Great Khali. That's it. There's nobody else. But anyway, that was a funny segment and the look on Edge's face was priceless. So if you haven't seen that segment yet, you definitely need to check it out on YouTube or whatever, because that was great. I was laughing about that for a good five minutes. It was um, very entertaining. Okay. Now, the Miss WrestleMania thing. This is a new concept that was introduced last Monday, and it's going to feature divas of the past, too. Divas that we may think that we think may be returning include Tammy Lynn Snitch or AKA Sonny, Trish Stratus, what was the one that I don't know who is cameraman? Wendy Richard. Wendy Richard, 
I don't know who that is. If you know who that is, please let me know, and that would help out a bunch. Leave it as a comment or whatever. And I don't know. Let's see. Um, and then there was something about Medusa returning. It would be, it would shock me if they let Medusa return, just because back during the Monday Night Wars when she made her debut in WCW, she threw the women's championship that was WWE's at the time in the trash. And Vince McMahon said that she would never work for WWE again. But in the in the event of fairness and good pay-per-view buy rates, it would probably be a nice surprise to everybody. So they also said Tori Wilson and Molly Holly and Jackie Gato were returning, and Lita. Oh yeah, if Lita returns, that would be awesome. Uh, I don't think Lita's been on the program since that uh, three-hour special they did back in December of 07-ish, somewhere in there. But, yeah, Lita needs to be in there, and uh, Tori Wilson would be okay. Molly Holly's a good wrestler. Molly Holly's look really good. Um, I haven't. I don't know what's up with her lately. And uh, let's see, who else? Who else was it? Jackie Gata. Jackie Gata. Gail Kim might be making her return. If Gail Kim makes the return, I'm going to pick her to win just because why else would they pick her to return that night and not put her over? But it would be really cool to see somebody like Trish Stratus or Lita or Sonny, for that matter, win the title or win the title of Miss WrestleMania. That would be really cool. But will it happen? Probably not. And, uh, the thing about Medusa is really interesting. That That's just, I can't get over that because they said, especially after what she did, that she'd never work there again. So I don't, I don't know. Okay, moving on. Uh, Christian, I did not get to watch ECW last night because of American Idol. But thanks to NoDQ.com, I read the, the, the results for it. And they put Christian over in the Money in the Bank, the final qualifying match. All I can say is yes, finally. This is Christian's chance to win the champion, win the contract for the title anytime he wants it, and face a champion of his choosing, and it doesn't matter which brand. What this means is he could possibly use it to face the SmackDown or the Raw champion. And if I was him, I'd get off ECW I, because he's not being used there properly. <laughs> Vince McMahon, you know, is not very high on him, and I don't know why because he could do wonders for ratings. So if they put him over and the money in the bank, and he and he gets that contract and uses it to become champion, I guarantee you ratings would go up. Because Christian has proved that he can be a main eventer thanks to his time in TNA. And I, I think that he should be on the Raw brand because that's where he would shine best. But um, just in, that's just my opinion. How are we running on time? Eight minutes. Okay. Um, about that Elvis show I was going to do, that got postponed for a while. It may be next weekend. I don't know, but I'll keep you posted on that. Also, this year we're going to do a WrestleMania party at my house, but we do that every year. It's become a tradition here with a, me and a couple of my friends. And uh, I'm going to do a show before WrestleMania about, about you know, my predictions and all that kind of stuff. And we may witness the return of Jackal if I can convince him to come watch the show with us. So be on the lookout for that. And questions? or comments or anything, my MySpace is open. I'm going to run over if you don't hurry. My uh, <laughs> email and just so long.